Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to try something a little different today. I'm using my new new camera. I've actually had it for a while. I've never used it to video. It's a Canon, the Canon EOS R3. Um, I'm using a, I believe it's a 50 mil lens on it. I figured I've had this camera that I've used for photography stuff. I might as well try it with the video to see how well it goes. I'm kind of stepping away from the camper build. I got a new tool in today uh, that I'd like to get set up here. So I figured I would kind of show an unboxing video of the tool. It is a me new metal saw. It's the Evolution brand. It is a, a miter saw. So I'm going to go ahead and start unboxing this and let me know what you think of the video quality with this video versus my normal videos and if I should start using this camera more versus with the camper build I've been using GoPros and and my cell phone. But uh, if you like this video quality better let me know in the comments below and I'll start using this to film uh, with more than the GoPros. So, all right. So, let's start the unboxing here. Let's see what we all get here. So it looks to be pretty well packed. To start off with, we get our. 14 inch uh, metal blade. Set that off to the side. Try to show this vest on video as I can. So, in the top layer, we got our instructions, warning, and then here it looks like we have our clamps. So there's going to be different, different style clamps, some hardware, and this here looks to be the main clamp for the top of it. Let me set this off to the side here real quick. So, just to show, they do a really well, or a really good job packing this. Alright, so I got it all unboxed. So it comes with the head off, comes with all the parts and pieces you need, different clamps. So, to start with, we need to get the head installed. So I believe what we need to do is just set these clamps down out of our way and we can rotate this to zero and that actually moves really nice. So it's got different lock points, locks in at zero really well. So now I just need to grab the saw head and install that. So here's the saw head. We're going to go ahead and looks to be pretty self explanatory. Alright, no 
those are on bearings too, so it slides real nice. Next, we need to put the little keeper plate here. Get that installed on the rear. Keep it from coming off. So we'll get that installed. Take two of these Allen screws. The nice thing is in the back quarter here, it's got a tool holder. Comes with the Allen wrench. So you don't need to go dig around looking for one. Started there. installed. It's a little back heavy on this box. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this clamp bar and drop this here in the front. Like so. And make sure I get that right. There we go. simple. Your top clamp here, it's going to have an adjustment knob to lock it in at whatever height. It is quick release with the button here. And this can just drop it in, in the back wherever you want. Same thing with these clamps here. These will just slide on to the main bar here. And you can adjust them where you want them. Also tighten them. It does also come with, let's see if that focuses there, these wing nuts. These are to, for the front clamps, you can raise or lower it. So these are so you can lock that in. Back here, this slide adjusts depending on what tool you're cutting. There's three positions, and you can lock it. So, for now, that's pretty much it. I just need to install the blade. So I'll get that installed real quick. I'm going to install the saw blade now. 14 inch 
steel cutting saw. Now these, I believe, are just like any miter saw. This is already loose, so kind of swing that up out of our way. <coughs> We're going to take the supplied Allen key. This is already loose, so we're going to unscrew the, I believe it's called an arbor. We'll get that unscrewed. This one stays on. And then we need to take the blade, so open up the guard. Take our blade, insert it, get that lined up, and close the guard, slip this on, and our nut. And then on the left side of the blade here, there is a stop, a button that you can press to stop it from spinning so you can tighten this. So we'll go ahead and get that good and tight. That feels good. Now our blade is on. Put the tool back in its little holder so we don't lose it. So now, it is all set. One thing I did want to show is, it does come with these brackets here. So these slip onto the clamp, or to the three clamps. So depending on what you're doing, so if you got a like pipe that you're trying to cut, you can get that slipped in there like so. And then you can obviously clamp a piece of pipe. You can also cut like square stock kind of at an angle to, if you want to do a miter cut so it's kind of more of the diamond shape. You can do that. So these clamps are look to be that they'll be pretty handy to have for different things so and they also work on this upper clamp to clamp things down the one thing I like about having these two the feed side and the cut side uh, clamping is a lot of times with my my other metal bandsaw or not bandsaw but chop saw when you go and cut you're cutting a little piece off Sometimes those things have a tendency to go flying, which is can be pretty dangerous. So be nice to have the option of clamping the cut end in so it doesn't go anywhere. Now this clamp here, this can also be moved to the other side if you need it there. There's a couple different spots. This one here next to the blade might be a little hard to clamp with because you got to close the saw. We also have three positions on this side that you can use. So one other thing is the table top here also has these holes here. I believe, I'm not sure, but I imagine they put them there to where you can get other types of clamps for that. This one doesn't really fit in there. It's a little too small. But I'm sure there's a reason for that. I'll have to do some research. Now with the miter head, you can turn the knob to lock it into any degree you want from 0 to 46 degrees in either direction. Or you just press the button on it and it just turns and it's going to lock 
at 15 degrees, 22 and a half degrees, 30, and 45. So we'll do we'll do some cuts here and see how it goes. Let me get some metal up in the saw and we'll give it a run. Alright, so I got a piece of I believe it's two two inch square tubing, about eighth wall. We're gonna do a 90 degree cut first. We're gonna try a couple of different cuts just to see what this does. Sorry about the noise there. That may have got a little loud. I just want to show you. So now we'll loosen that up. So just to show you, it does give it a nice, nice cut to it. Actually really nice. So this is going to be, I'm pretty excited about this, this is going to be a, a fun tool to have. So let's try a 45 and see how that looks. So that's as simple as turning the head here to 45 degrees. We're going to feed it in a little bit here, clamp it down. sure it don't go nowhere and sorry about your ears again but let's see how it does on the 45 Alright, so again, really nice clean cut. Really liking it. And this is gonna make fabrication a lot easier having something like this. So we got my two pieces cut. As you can see here. There's really no gap in that cut. So nice straight even cut. So one thing I'm interested in is doing a basically mounting the tube in at an angle like so and doing a 45 degree cut and see what that looks like. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to use these clamps right here if it'll focus. We're going to slip these onto the clamp and try to get that angle that we're looking for. this to line up properly I do need to raise this clamp head here so let's find our all right so that's pretty well clamped in 
let's see how it cuts and go from there. Uh, sorry about your ears again. Taken out. And let's see how that cut looks. So, nice clean cut. If we can get it to focus here. There we go. So, the idea behind doing a cut like that. Is if you wanted, I don't know, decorative type fence. Let me let's get that in camera better here. So yeah, you can get some pretty cool cuts on this. do some pretty cool fabrication work and yeah pretty excited let me know what you guys think of this saw I'm excited for it and uh, yeah. pretty slick little tool all right thanks for watching so the reason I got the saw is I am going to be building another trailer. So I'm sure you don't, nobody knows, but so I am the sales manager for uh, Johnson Trailer Parts. We're an online trailer parts retailer. Uh, my boss came to me and asked me if I'd be interested in doing any videos for him. Okay thought about it and he's going to be sponsoring a build for me to build a little utility trailer um, I just have a Toyota 4Runner so I've been wanting to build a little 4x8 utility trailer for when I got to go get material things like that just makes life easier since I don't have a truck so bought this saw in anticipation to that build to be able to get some better cuts. The existing saw we got isn't, I mean, it's kind of on its last legs. It's pretty well worn. We've had it for years. So we decided to upgrade the saw here. So, but yeah, let me know what you think of the video quality using this camera versus GoPros. And uh, I'm not sure when I'm gonna start that utility trailer build. Uh, might be a month or so, um, but I'll be posting the videos on my company's website that I work for, Johnson Trailer Parts, or on their YouTube page. And I'll probably do some videos of that on my channel here. Um, the videos that I'll do for the Johnson Trailer Parts page will be a little bit more in-depth more of a kind of a how-to or on my channel here it'll just be a general overview of the build so other than that that saw is awesome i absolutely love the fact it's quick e easy to get your miter cuts i love having the multiple clamping features on it so i may do another video in regards to this saw i need to build a stand for it i want to build a rolling cart That'll hold it, be able to handle weight. So my idea is build a cart on casters, but then come up with some sort of drop foot to lock lock it down so it doesn't roll away while you're trying to cut with it. But other than that, I appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think of the video or the saw if you got one. 
I'll give updates and we'll see you in the next video.